2016 has been the best year of my life. And after watching this, I hope you too can say that this next year is gonna be the best year of your life. Let me show you. All right. I started the year in Denver, Colorado, and threw this up minutes before we rang in 2016. Then I came back home to LA to mark one full year of living here. Then I quit my job washing dishes to become a full-time artist. I quit my job today. These are my nasty, dirty, stinky, just washing clothes. <sighs> Greatest feeling ever. I moved into my first real apartment with two strangers who turned out to be really dope roommates. I painted a little wall in Artist Alley LA, made new business cards and a couple fresh new stickers, made a sticker bombing video. I was so inspired by the Marvel album hip hop covers that I decided to make my own with my favorite superhero, Daredevil. Also, I painted two Daredevil Netflix posters and I sold them at my first comic book convention. Painted some abandoned mattresses on the street outside my apartment. Painted a portrait for a homeless man with Molo Nation. Our buddy Kipto, he created something special just for you. I shipped a couple of paintings to a collecting fan in Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks, Harold. <laughs> Painted an old abandoned Nazi bunker in the secret hills of Los Angeles. I painted a backdrop for the Billboard Music Awards. Painted a custom sexy superhero garage for an awesome client. It's really coming together quite nice. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Michelle. Hey, Frank. Damn me to poop on that weird kid with the paint down there. I can hear you. Painted my rhino mural Defiance for K-Town Walls Project. Ah. Got in really good shape. Coming for you, Batman. Watch out. Painted a Hawaiian backyard mural for the most lovely Hawaiian couple, and they have since adopted me into their family. Mahalo, Jay and Val. Went to Vegas for the weekend, reunited with my best friend. Painted some custom Captain America sneakers. Speaking of Captain America, I saw Captain America Civil War at the Hollywood Chinese Theater for the first time. It's Captain America Day! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. Girl, the movie What? It was incredible. And in May, I made one of my favorite murals and videos still to this day. Temptation. Help! Kipto, help! This wall is so blank! Sorry, babe. Gotta get to work. I won a contest for Carrera sunglasses with my mattress painting video and I was hired to do a commercial shoot with Jared Leto. I saw all these mattresses outside my apartment and those look like some pretty great canvases. 
Does this shirt just look cool like that? You know what? This is authentic. Kipto is one of a kind. I was hired as a set decorator on the TV show, The Amazing Race. And while I was there, I painted a mural at the office space that spelled out The Amazing Race hidden inside. And then the real job started. I was paid to travel the whole world and create challenges for the show. But it didn't work out. I got fired halfway through. <laughs> Shit happens. But I did have a really dope overnight layover in Rome on the way home. I came back to LA and painted a quick piece at Venice Beach. My buddy hired me to upgrade his new bachelor pad. Get extreme with it. Just conquering the world. Before I conquer the day, I need some crazy shit. Anything that comes at us, we're just conquering. Three, two, one. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Won a live painting competition in downtown LA. I got 25 kisses for my 25th birthday. Painted the confidence mural with East by for Katon Walls again. Mr. Lion's been working out for his big part in my mural today. Filled up a whole sketch pad with live figure drawings. Shot some awesome Kip Toe movie trailer footage for an upcoming project. Where have you been, man? You know the city councilman won't let you do this. I'm gonna put an end to that. Wait! I didn't get to wish you good luck. And I also shot a Kipto action movie with my friends. I was hired to paint nine desks for the Muse Room's co-working space and created a stop motion animation that I'm very proud of. My buddy Sean and I moved these pieces inch by inch, frame by frame to create this awesome animation. And one of the best parts of 2016, I used the money I made from The Amazing Race and I went to South America and made my own TV show, Kipto Paint South America. Traveled to Bogota, Colombia, painted two murals and made some amazing friends and fell in love with a beautiful Colombian chica. Then went to Buenos Aires and painted two more murals. The kids made a beautiful sign for me, welcoming me into Argentina. Look at that. Then went to Rio de Janeiro and painted three more murals. Quick uh, one day mural, came out pretty cool, it was kind of fun. The last one being the biggest mural in the biggest favela in Brazil. I get off the ladder for two seconds, this is what happens. 
After all that, I traveled to New York City and painted the giant side of a building using only rollers and a 24-foot pole from the ground. Just with that stick, he's good. He did all that with a stick? Damn you good, baby! After that, I flew back to Bogota to see my favorite girl again, and I made a movie about it. Also, I painted four more walls in six days. After seven weeks of traveling, I finally flew back to LA. Oh, oh, I'm back in Los Angeles. I had to paint over my confidence mural after it was destroyed by vandals. I threw up a new piece. I was hired again by the Mustrums to paint a big giant dragon around the whole room of their new co-working space. Painted another small piece in the patio area. Started putting some of my art on t-shirts. Ooh, what's up, Kip Toe? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Was hired to paint on a live YouTube variety show that broke the Guinness World Record. Something to smile about, you know what I'm saying? Something to backwards-sized smile about. 2016 was packed with amazing opportunities. I can't say anything more than if you want something in life, just go get it. Live, travel, inspire, create, and be you. I'm gonna welcome 2017 in the same place where I started in LA two years ago. Made it. New Year's Day, 2015. It's gonna be fire.